Now for the next episode of the Jupiter 2 inspired movie theater, media room, family room, man cave, kids cave, woman cave, you name it, we got it. Well, as you can see, we've started painting the green over here for the uh, flight recorder and the gyro. And then that's where the circuit board panel thingamajigger is going to go. We all are aware that's where the uh, porthole is going to go, which i got to work on. Uh, new, new thing is the lights. We've got tints in the lights now, so they're tinted blue. Coming around like this. And then the lights in the back here, they're going to be bright so that you can see your audio equipment and everything else that you need. Nice thing about it is it's all controlled by one switch. So when we're ready to watch movies, just turn that off and it goes dark. Um, the other thing too, of course, and I've showed this before, but people have asked me to show it again, so I'm going to show it again, is the ring. And it does multiple colors. Right now it's on that color, and then we can go to blue, and go to a different blue, and purple. People seem to like this a lot. I'm real pleased with the way it's come out. Um, so you can see all the different colors that it does. Red. Let's go over from this view here. Okay, and then uh, just, you know, different colors and sort of thing. And you can alternate between white and just jump in different colors and between all the different colors we just did. And it, it, it makes it really nice. We're going to be putting in the, uh, the light strips this next week uh, for the front ribs. We're going to experiment first. We don't have enough diffusing material yet, but we will have enough diffusing material. Um, there's a nice blue, or actually, I like that blue. It's a nice blue. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is also, um, of course, you, you guys have seen the fan, and the fan operates real nice. It's kind of hot in here, so I'm going to turn the fan on. Is the track here. Now, this is going to be for the curtain that's going to go right here. Here's the track. And the way this is going to go is very, very simple. Um, and it's hard to do with one. me just holding it by myself. But uh, this is going to go through like this like this and then it's just going to run straight down like that and there'll be a curtain attached to it for now what we've all wanted to do is a curtain um, eventually we're going to do an accordion door because on the Jupiter 2 they actually had accordion doors and that runs all the way down like that and it will um, this wall right here is going to be covered in this gridding here and that's the gridding I'm going to use also for the magnet panels um, this is going to be a weapons wall for Blade. I talked about doing it in Men in Black. Um, it, it's, there's not enough coolness to Men in Black weapons for me. They all look like shiny thingamajiggers. So I'm going to do with all the glaives. You've seen my Blade collection. It'll look really nice up against the wall. Then we're going to put a false wall right here. And then I'll just hang the Blade poster right there, the autograph poster I have. That'll look real nice presentation to it right there. Um, another thing I wanted to show you guys and we've been experimenting with and this this is really cool watch this now when you look through here now see everything looks like it's all blended in doesn't it it's kind of nice now this is about where we'll be sitting to watch movies and as you can see we got the screen in and the screen comes down nice smooth action looks really really nice Let's see if I can back it up here a little bit more there we go there we go. So you get the flight console, you get the ribs in, you got the ring right there. This has a really nice presentation. Then it comes down nice and slow, and then it stops. And there you go. And then we'll put it back up, and then it goes back up. There are going to be like three remote controls to remote control everything. One remote will do all the lights. That's the ring light and all the rib lights. There will be a switch remote that has five remotes hooked to it. Those will turn off the, um, the side panels left and right and also the front of all the lights in the flight console. And then the fluorescent lights that are on, those are operated by a switch also. So it will be really nice. And if I can find a universal remote control that does everything that I need, it'd be great. So far I haven't found one that'll do the screen. I found one that'll do other things but not the screen. Anyway, boys and girls, this is where we're at right now. You can see also we've been painting the floor. 
When the floor is all painted, that's what the uh, tiles are going to attach to. We need to have something to grip the tiles. And we're going to start painting the console. So hopefully within about a week, we figure the console will be done. Maybe sooner. I mean, this thing's moving a lot faster than I planned on it. Um, can't think of anything else important to show you guys that you haven't seen. Um, I'm just kind of doing this so that people who've not been following the build from the beginning kind of can get an idea of what the whole room looks like. Um, and uh, I'll post this as my YouTube trailer. That way people can see it. And then as we add more and more pieces to it, of course, we're going to videotape it. All right. And everybody did see the pressure door and the pod bay doors. Those are coming along real nicely. So this is what we've got. So stay tuned for the next episode of the Jupiter 2 uh, Inspired Theater. Thank you very much for your time. Please post comments.